Hello, everybody, and welcome to the From Poverty to Progress channel, the channel that is devoted to promoting an awareness and understanding of human progress. My name is Michael Magoon, and I'm the author of the From Poverty to Progress book series. The first book in my book series is entitled From Poverty to Progress, and it explains the origin and causes of modern progress. Well, I am really excited to announce that my second book in the From Poverty to Progress book series is now available on pre-release. Well, what's pre-release? Well, the official publication date is October 1st, 2023. But for members of my website, from povertytoprogress.com, you can purchase an ebook at a discounted price of $6.99 and get it immediately. Or you can pre-order the ebook at Amazon for full price. Delivery will actually be on October 1st. And you can purchase paperbacks and hardbacks on Amazon at the same date. See links in the description for how to purchase. Before I go on to explain what this book is about, I want to back up a little bit and explain what I call the progress-based perspective, because that really is at the core of the entire book series and of this channel. The progress-based perspective is based on a few key principles. One is promoting an awareness of human material progress, both in the recent past and in the more distant past. Then to study history, to learn what has worked in the past, do more of what has worked, do less of what has not worked, and above all, stay focused on results. This progress-based perspective is both radical and pragmatic. It's pragmatic because it focuses on what works. It's radical because it gets to the real core of the foundations of what makes human beings better off. And it's very different from ideologies of the left, ideologies of the right, any traditional philosophies, or economic theories. I believe that we must build a progress movement based on the following principles. One, we need to promote an awareness and understanding of progress. An awareness of how we actually live today compared to in the past will help to sweep away all of the negative perceptions created by our politics, our ideology, our media, and social media. Second, we must research history to identify policies and practices that actually work to promote progress. Finally, we must build a political movement to sweep away government policies that are currently undermining human progress. If you want to know more about these topics, I would go to my video, An Introduction to Human Progress. So in the first book in the series, this series is entitled From Poverty to Progress, and it's also the title of the first book in this series, I explain what progress is, give evidence of progress both in the recent past and in the distant past, explain why we live, why human beings live for so long without any progress at all, particularly focusing on geographical limitations on progress. And the bulk of the book is about discussing the origins of progress, the causes of that progress, how progress works, and why we ignore progress today. Finally, I focus on threats to progress both in the past and in the present. The key concepts from this first book are also the key concepts of this video channel. The five keys to progress, which I believe are the fundamental preconditions that enable societies to transition from a state of poverty to a state of progress. The second key concept is how progress works. These are human behaviors that drive progress forward once the five keys to progress are established in a society. If you want to know more about what I've discussed, you can take a look at the following videos listed below, and I'm going to be making a lot more in the future. Let's get back to my new book and what it's about. I am proposing what I call a progress-based reform agenda that essentially builds on the theories from the first book and then provides concrete alternatives to the policies that we have today. I believe that many government policies today are unintentionally undermining the foundations of progress and we need to have a new agenda to sweep them away. That progress-based agenda would be based on five key principles. One, we need to promote long-term, widely shared economic growth. Now, to a lot of people, that's obvious, but how much of our political system actually focuses on how to do it? Very, very little of it. Most of it actually undermines 
the first key objective. Second, I believe we need to create a prosperous working class so that way the benefits of progress are widely shared not just by college-educated professionals, but also by the working class. Third, I believe that we need to promote a clear pathway that enables youth from low-income families to enter that prosperous working class. We need to focus relentlessly on results. It shouldn't be about ideology or good intentions or what's popular. We need to focus on what works. And finally, I believe that we need to reform the political process to make all of the above possible. I believe that in our current political system, it will be very difficult, if not impossible, to implement the, this reform agenda. So we need to first start out with reforming the political process. Now, this book focuses primarily on goals one, four, and five. My next book, which I don't have a, a book cover on it, so you can see kind of what it's going to look like. It's going to come out in 2024, and it is it is tentatively entitled Upward Mobility, A Radical New Agenda to Uplift the Poor and the Working Class, and it focuses on goals two and three. I want to point out that this isn't just a laundry list of policy ideas that I support. It is very much focused on the key concepts from the first book, the five keys to progress and how progress works. So every one of these reform proposals are based on promoting those two concepts. These concepts are important because they not only explain the history of human progress, but they are actionable in today's world. Let's get into the details a little bit more. I'm not going to go over this in detail. I'm going to create a bunch of episodes over the next few months that dive into each one of these policy proposals. But what you see here is the table of contents for my book, Promoting Progress, and it's essentially focused on six key areas. One is reforming the political process. Two, what wealthy nations can do to keep their progress going. As I stated before, I believe that wealthy nations in the United States and Europe and Japan are unintentionally undermining the foundations of progress, and we need to have policy proposals to roll back those bad policies and implement better policies that help to improve long-term economic growth. But it's not just about the wealthy nations. Most nations aren't wealthy. So the next two parts are about what wealthy nations can do to help developing nations enjoy more progress and what developing nations can do for themselves. Finally, I also have a section on mitigating the side effects of progress. Now, many people who are opposed to progress or are skeptical of progress talk about some of the bad things that are related to progress. And then they say, well, progress then is a bad thing. Well, I disagree. I think all good things have some bad things associated with it. And one of the biggest things that people focus on are global carbon emissions, which will change the climate in a negative direction. So I'm going to focus on how we can cut global carbon emissions without undermining progress in wealthy nations or in developing nations. And finally, I have a chapter on what individuals can do to help promote progress. So now over the next few months, I'm going to be making videos on a regular basis, let's say once a week, and I'm going to be diving into each one of these policy proposals in much more detail. All of these videos will be in the Promoting Progress playlist. Again, my book will be officially available for publication on October 1st, 2023. You can pre-order ebooks at full price on Amazon for $9.99, or you can get an ebook right now at a discounted price price by joining from poverty to progress.com. See the links in the description for details. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe and like it really helps the channel to grow. If you'd like more resources, I'd recommend going to my website from poverty to progress.com with a free email subscription. You get free ebook samples, free audio samples, and you can buy discounted ebooks and audiobooks. If you insist on paying full price, you can get ebooks, paperbacks, and hardcovers at Amazon, or if you're a bookstore or a library, you can get them at Ingram Spark. Audiobooks are available at Amazon, 
Audible, and iTunes. If you'd like to know more about books related to this content, I'd recommend going to my other website, which is the techratchet.com. It consists of an online library of over 280 book summaries on the topics of technology, history, economic growth, and progress. And now we're getting on to the exciting part, a free book giveaway of my first book, From Poverty to Progress. If you're a regular listener, you already know the rules. If you don't know the rules, please pause this video and read this description. There's a free book giveaway every week. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.